Hello Beaver County people, the Hitman Tony T, and I wanted to take a special tour through one of the oldest cemeteries in New Brighton. And for anybody that's wondering, uh, this is the same cemetery that uh, Hitlist Radio will be doing a live ghost time August 15th at 10 p.m. Actually, 11 p.m. to 1 p.m. So this little tour here is, is for the, actually for my co-hosts. That way they can actually see what we're gonna be, where we're gonna be and how spooky it is during the day, let alone gonna be here at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm glad to see that, that they're keeping up with the place again. You know. I believe this is... This right here is the New Brighton Falston World War II Memorial. But believe it or not, when I was a little kid, I could stick my head in that cannon. I think my head got too big for me to do that now. But Grove, really, Grove Cemetery really has not changed much. Except for now, they're taking a way better care of it, as far as I'm concerned. Back in the day, they took care of it. Look at my windows. I don't understand why that why that's like that. Try and get some of the glare out of there, but I guess I need better window cleaner. I'm not gonna go up on the hill towards the mausoleum. Sorry, people. Like I said, this was this is just a quick improv. Look how old our stones are around here. Now this is one of the places where I want to do part of that that ghost hunt because every time I come around this memorial no matter how cold or hot it is I always feel a flash of heat. Right now I'm not though. But come August 15th we're going to be investigating this a lot further. Of course, it is 9 o'clock in the morning, so. But I always thought this was one of the prettiest cemeteries we have. I'm, I'm, I am so looking forward to August 15th show. 
I have friends, co-hosts coming from Akron, Ohio to join that show. Like I said, it's going to be a live ghost hunt. And, uh, the following week is when, the following week of the show is when we're going to do all the revealing of what we find, if we find anything. Which, to tell you the truth, I don't see us not finding something in Grove Cemetery, honestly. But, while we're here, we're going to take a quick trip down memory lane for myself, because, like I said, I grew up right here. Oh, 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 I hate this road, I swear to God, nobody wants to slow down. As soon as they see somebody, as soon as they see somebody pull out on this road, it's like, let's hurry up and get go faster and see how close we can actually hit the person instead of slowing down and let letting them pull out that 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 bugs me you know when I'm on top of a hill and I see a car coming up the hill that's at a stop sign I automatically let that person come up the hill and let them go first I mean it's just common courtesy all right, this is a trailer park I grew up in. Wow, there ain't hardly any trailers in it anymore. But I grew up living in this trailer park right here. That's probably, actually, number 20 was my lot. Which, number 20, is sitting right here with this gray, or I'm sorry, where this tan trailer sits. But that used to be my trailer, where it used to sit. And this one here used to be a friend of mine, Chili's trailer, that used to sit. Oh, they still got one building sitting here. Wow, back in the day, this, this place used to look huge to me. Huge. I am one of the original Grove Avenue kids. Me, Chad Smith. Oh, let's see. Jeff Fuller. Timmy Fath. Jeff Anderson. Uh, Eric Evans, all the Evans guys. Mrs. Durflinger, my my kindergarten teacher, used to live right here. But back in the day, this road <laughs> it was never it was never nice this nicely paved. I'll tell you that right now. And if anybody remembers. The old Little League field, right here. We're gonna take a trip right down to it because uh, there's something I wanna, I wanna videotape and and remind everybody. But I uh, grew up playing for the New Brighton Legion post 19 Little League there. But we're gonna take a trip down to the old Little Lake field real quick. Like I said, there is something here that I want to I want to take a look at. And we're going to keep you guys rolling with me. So bear with me as you hear all this clunk, 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 clunk. Wow, back in the day, these bleachers used to look huge. This is what I wanted to show everybody right here. A uh, buddy of mine who actually painted this, drew it, painted it, William Maybray, uh, passed away from, uh, no, don't really matter why he passed away, 
he had heart complications while he was driving let's just put it that way but left us way too soon and he was supposed to be one of my lead in, lead investigators for the ghost hunt on August 15th so we are doing the ghost hunt in his honor but this is one of the last masterpieces that he gave New Brighton way too soon everybody just way too soon people need to start thinking about what it's you know life's too short but we used to have annual bottle rocket battles down here every 4th of July the Grove Avenue kids Butchie Masick Eric Evans me God there were just so many of us, I can't even remember everybody's names. But to tell you the truth, I've never seen this field look this nice. Not even back when I was playing on it. One thing New Brighton has is lion pride. Like I said, if you're getting bored of these, I'm sorry. But, uh... I kind of enjoy doing them now, and since everybody's been giving me good uh, reviews on them, you guys kind of got me addicted to it, so it's Beaver County's fault. Now, one of the things that bothers me about this area down here is that New Brighton used to have some of the busiest tennis courts in the county. And when I mean busy, I mean I was getting kicked off these courts as a kid. And I could play tennis. I was pretty decent at tennis. And I was getting kicked off these courses or these courts a long time ago. But this is what our courts look like now, ladies and gentlemen. And to tell you the truth, when they took when they put AstroTurf on these tennis courts is when people stop playing on them. Oh yeah, we're gonna put AstroTurf on the tennis courts, be like you're playing at Wimbledon. Bull crap! You've ruined it. Even the high school don't even use these courts anymore. New Brighton does have a skate park down here now. Let's take a quick look at it real quick. Because back in the day, New Brighton never would have done this for us. Never. Just because of liability. And to tell you the truth, this parking lot was used a lot. With the games down over at the middle school. With the Colt League. Actually, we're going to take a little trip down to the Colt League field. Show everybody what it looks like. But back in the day, this used to be a big playground. Kids used to come down here to the to the shelter, and they had the summer programs. And I used to come down here and hit tennis balls off this. These used to be tennis courts right here too. And I used to come down and hit tennis balls right there off that wall. So now this is the memorial field. Tell you the truth, these fields, our fields have not looked any nicer than they do today. I can say that right now. New Brighton Recreational has done a lot for our, for our schools and for our teams. All right, well, you know what? I think I've eaten up all my time that I can for this little trip here. You know, oh, one one quick thing. You know that big deal that New Brighton made about Fantasy Kingdom? My battery's about to die. About Fantasy Kingdom, all that money they, they 
they invested in that. Well, look at Fantasy Kingdom now. All that wood, all that money, gone. Wasted. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I can see my battery pack starting to, to blank. I hope you enjoyed the trip. I hope you enjoyed the tours. And I will see you on the next one. All right. Salute.